Hello and welcome. Today the topic of discussion is normalization of data and what we are going to understand is question to identify normal form. So prior to this I have discussed few question that how to discuss and how to identify that the given question is in which normal form and again in this video we will discuss some more topics some more questions on identification of normal, normal forms. So you have given a question where R is a table having following attribute PQRST uh, having following functional dependency QR to PST and S to Q fine you have to determine that given table is in which normal form fine. So I request you to kindly watch my previous video so that you will understand everything very clearly. So in this type of question what you need to identify you need to identify what you need to identify the candidate key first. So let's use arrow diagram to find the candidate key. So QR is determining PST. QR is determining what PST? P, S and T and S is determining Q. S is determining Q. Now you have to determine those attributes which are not determined by any of the given functional dependency. So if you can see that R is an attribute which is not determined by any of the attribute. Why? Because P is having arrow, Q is having arrow, S is having arrow, T is having arrow but R is not determined by any of the attribute. So definitely R will be the integral part of my candidate key. What will be my candidate key? I don't know but my candidate key will have R attribute. So let's find the closure of R. So closure of R will have R. So now check the candidate. Now check the functional dependency. With the help of QR you can determine PST. I have only R so I can't do anything. With the help of S you can determine Q. I have only R. So with the help of R you can determine only R. So alone R is not a candidate key. Let's make the combination of R. So combination of R, I'm making R with Q and I'm making R with S. I can make R with other also, but right now I'm taking two, two examples. Let's take R with P also. So R, the closure of RQ, the closure of RQ will have RQ, fine. So with the help of QR, I can determine PST. I have QR, yes, I have QR. So with the help of I, QR, I can determine PST. With the help of S, I can determine Q. I have already Q, so I will not write it again. So with the help of RQ, I can determine all the attributes. So RQ is a candidate key. Now find the closure of RS. The closure of RS will have RS. Fine. So with the help of QR, I have RS. I will not use this functional dependency. With the help of S, I can determine Q. So I am writing Q. Now with the help of QR, I have QR. Yes, I have QR now. With the help of QR, I can determine PST. P. I will not write S again because I am having S already, then I am writing T. So with the help of RS, I am determining all the attribute of a table. Therefore, RS is a candidate key. Now use RP also. With the help of RP, I can write RP. With the help of QR, I can write PST, but I don't have QR, I have RP. With the help of S, I can determine Q. I have, I don't have any S. So with the help of RP, you can determine only RP. So this is not a candidate key. So we have only two candidate key RQ and RS. We have only two candidate key RQ and RS. Fine. So let me rub all these things. Okay. So we, you have two candidate key, key R, RQ and RS. So let's solve this question. So we'll start with BCNF. So what is BCNF? So BCNF says if x to a is a non-trivial functional dependency, then x should be a super key or candidate key. Fine. And then we check for 3NF. If not in BCNF, then 3NF. And what is 3NF? If x to a is a non-trivial functional dependency, then either x should be a super key or a should be a prime attribute. Then if not in 3NF, then we check 2NF. And what is 2NF? 2NF says, 2NF says, no non-prime attribute should be partially dependent on key of a table. That is, if A, B is a key and it is determining C, then either A or B should not determine anything alone. That is, you cannot write A determine X or you cannot write B determine Y. That is, A and A, B should not be broken. A, B should not be broken. Fine. So, let's have this concept and solve the question. So, we have two candidate key RQ and RS. This means we uh, a prime attributes are R, Q and S. These are prime attribute. These are part of key. And what are non-prime attribute? P and T. P and T are non-prime attribute. P and T are non-prime attribute. Fine. So let's start with the question. So let's start with the questions and how to solve the question. So first you have QR to PST. Then what's BCNF says? BCNF says this should be a super key. Is QR a super key? Yes. RQ is a super key. QR or RQ is same. Yes. So this functional dependency is BCNF. Fine. Let's check this functional dependency. Is this a super key? 
नो एस इज नॉट अ सुपर की आर एस इज अ सुपर की सो Because this is not a super key, so this functional dependency is not in BCNF. Since this functional dependency is not in BCNF, entire table is not in BCNF. Because if there are ten functional dependency in a table, then all the ten should follow BCNF. Because of S two Q is not in BCNF, the entire table is not in BCNF. Let's check for three NF. So what is three NF? Three NF says we'll not check this for three NF because if this is in BCNF, hundred percent is in it is in three NF. Let's check this for three NF. So this is in three NF. S two Q is this a super key? No, this is not a super key. But three NF says this should be a prime or this should be a prime attribute. Is Q a prime attribute? Yes, Q is a prime attribute. So this is also in three NF. So entire functional dependency is in three NF. So our table is in three NF. Fine. So let's see the answer. Yes, our table is in three NF. So let's very good. That's good. So we have now understood that how to solve the question. Let's see the another question. Now I will not find the candidate key. Now I'll not explain anything. Candidate key I have already calculated. Now it's your job to see that how I have calculated this candidate key. So let's start with the question uh, very fastly. You have given a table A B C D E. You have given a table A B C D E. You have given a functional dependencies. ठीक है. Your job is to determine which in which normal form the table is. Fine. So let's start with B C N F. First we'll check for B C N F. Then we check for three N F. Then we check for two N F. So what is the definition of BCNF? If x to a is non-trivial functional dependency, then this should be a super key. What is 3NF? If x to a is a non-trivial functional dependency, then this should be a super key. Or a should be a prime attribute. If what is 2NF? If a b is determining c, then a b should not be broken. Fine. So let's start. Uh, okay. Let's see this function. Is a b a super key? Yes, a b is a super key. So this functional dependency is in BCNF. Okay, is D to A is D is a super key? No, D is not a super key. Why? Because B D is a super key. So because of this, this table is not in B C N F. Let's check this for three N F. Is this super key? No, this is not a super key. Is this a prime attribute? Yes, because A B is a key and A is a part of key. So this is a prime attribute. So this is in three N F. This is in three N F. This is also in three N F because if it is in B C N F, this is in three N F. Is B C is a super key? Yes, B C is a super key. B C is a super key. So this is in B C N F also, but it cannot be in B C N F because this is not in B C N F. So this is in three N F. So all the functional dependency are satisfying condition of three N F. So the table is in. 3 nf fine so let's check the answer yes the answer is in 3 nf fine and we have the last question again i have calculated the candidate key now your job is to check whether the given table is in which normal form so let's start with the table so you have given a table uh, abc functional dependency ab to b b to c and c to a and you have to determine that which normal form so let's start so what is bcnf what is bcnf if a to B is of non-trivial functional dependency, then this should be a super key. So is A a super key? Yes, A is a candidate key. So this is in BCNF. Is B a super key? Yes, B is a super key. So this is in BCNF. Is C to A? Is this a super key? Yes, C is a super. Key. So this is in BCNF. So all the functional dependency is in BCNF, and my table is in BCNF. So let's see the answer. Yes, our table is in BCNF. So we have included all those questions, either which were in one NF. either which were in 2nf or which were in bcnf fine so finally we have solved all the questions